Oyinga Lager Hell. Is there such a thing as lager hell? Well, it probably is actually. Carlsberg probably brew it, or AB InBev. One of them two shysters. Let me close that down, that is gonna stand like it's frying, not an egg. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I've got this one. This is from the Iinga Brewery, one of my favorites from Bavaria. And this is their lager hell. This is the one, I think it's the only one, is it? It might be. This is the only one I haven't tried from their range. I absolutely love them. They're a great brewery and they're not part of the top six from Bavaria. So unfortunately they're not allowed to sell beer in Munich. But as I've always said, I have been told on very good authority, I've never been to an Oktoberfest, but I will do one day when this fucking virus bollocks is over, that they do a really good little Oktoberfest of their own. And I've heard that from another fella as well. He went to Augsburg one year and he said, you know, Munich is full of the tourists and all that. You go to these little German towns and villages, he said the Oktoberfest is much better. So they, still, they do it all over Germany. It's not just Munich, but they, you know, the consensus is the beer is better down there. Whether that is true or not is another, is another thing. But anyway, um, it is absolutely fucking sweltering out there. And it's just been a bit of a storm. It's been pissing down. I was going to ride down to the coast today on the bike. When it started raining, I just thought, well, that is just going to take all the fun out of it. So me and a mate, we're going to ride down there. He's got an old vintage Harley. And we were going to get on down to Herne Bay. But sadly, that was put on ice. So now I have got this to console myself with. And I'll tell you something, in this weather, I don't think you could get a better beer than a Bavarian lager to refresh you. So that is why I really don't want to talk much. I just want to get this beer down my fat Gregory. Right, it is a 500ml bottle and it's 4.9%. The cynic in me thinks they did that for tax purposes on the export, but it may be just the way it's come out. It's coming straight out of the fridge. So it's cold, that is the way lager should be. And yeah, as I say, Iinga do some fantastic stuff and I'm really hoping this is not gonna let me down. So let's get this beer open and see if it does. Right, here's the cap. And I absolutely love the Iinga caps. It's like a little oil painting. I think that is a little painting of the brewery, but they have them on all their beers, and I absolutely love it. It was a German bar around the corner from where I worked when I was going into the office, I'm working from home now, but that's where I discovered Iinga beer. I'd never heard of them before, and they did, they did the Altbayerisch Dunkel. Um, I think the Keller beer was there as well, but there was a couple of other Iinga beers, and they were all fucking superb. And it's a shame because that, bar i think is now going to close because everybody who worked in that office or in that building they're not going to be going in there anymore and we we were the bulk of their trade so sadly i think that is going to go and that really upsets me because they did the best beers they the, if you looked at the fridge it was just like a selection of the best german beers and it's probably going to go in there which is a real shame so Thank you, COVID-19. Right, let's get this beer filled out. As I said before, I am not sniffing beer in the bottle anymore. 
there is absolutely no point. You're just going to get the yeast state of this fucking glass. Look at that. That is disgusting. I'll have a word with that dishwasher. I'm going to marry her in a couple of weeks. Don't tell her I said that. She will fucking chop my bollocks off. Hmm. Interesting. The aromas are very subdued in that. I'm getting faint noble hop aromas but not much else which is a real weird one for me i thought this would be full of aromas let's uh have another smell oh yeah there's a bit more now there's some a little touch of sweet malt and a little touch of black pepper on that but not a lot else mm, that's unusual normally the Einger beers are just full of big aromas. Hopefully, the aromas are deceiving me and this is gonna be an absolute stunner. Maybe I'm building it up and I'm gonna get very disappointed. Oh well, only one way to find out. Fucking, oh, just before I do, look at the carbonation in that. Now, I have just tried the Hackershaw Hell and the carbonation wasn't as aggressive as that, but it was quite aggressive, but it was so smooth and Again, maybe I'm building this up to be more than it is. But, as I say, the proof is in the tasting. Zum Wohl. As they say in Germany. Not bad. Quite clean drinking. The malt is there on the finish, like a doughy, bready malt. Not getting much of the hop character at all. Now the Hackershaw stuff, which I'm going to compare it to because they're both from the same region. They're both more or less the same ABV. But everything seems to be a little bit subdued on this one. Carbonation. There's a little coarse on that as well. But, <clears throat> I have to say, all things considered, that is not bad. I'm being harsh on it because I'm putting it up against the very best. I'm judging it against its peers. Now, these do probably one of the best dark beers I've ever tasted the Alt, the Alt Bayerisch Dunkel that is absolutely gorgeous and the light vice beer was quite nice the Keller beer was pretty good too I had really high hopes for the lager and I'm a little bit disappointed Now that sounds like I'm being harsh and I'm knocking it. I'm not. <clears throat> because if this was any old, you know, cheap lager, even a craft lager from the United Kingdom, um, I wouldn't expect as much as I do from this lot because they produce some of the finest beers in Germany. Certainly from what I've tasted. And this, I think, Amongst its peers, now when I say its peers, I'm talking about the best beers you can get in Germany, the best lagers you can get in Germany, the Hackershaw Munchner Gold, the Hackershaw Hell, the Paulana Hell, the Augustina Hell, which to me is the best one out of the lot, and some of the other really good Bavarian stuff. This, I think it it's just 
a notch below. It's certainly better than some of the North German beers I've tried. The I really shouldn't compare these two, but I tried the Ertinger the other day, and you know the Ertinger was dirt cheap, mass produced. It's, it's probably one of the biggest selling beers in Germany. And it wasn't too bad, quite a bit of hop character in there, but it just tasted a little bit artificial. This one, it, it's quite clean drinking. Don't get me wrong, it is it is a good beer in its own right. It's clean drinking. Um, the, the finish on it is quite nice. There is a fair bit of, you know, bread and doughy malt on that, as you would expect from a Bavarian beer, but it, I think it falls a little bit short. It falls a little bit short when being compared to the best. But having said that, it, it, it's really good. And again, I want to I want to stress this point. It sounds like I'm being harsh on it. I'm not. That is a fantastic beer. But I'm comparing it with the very best this, because it comes from that region. This will piss all over anything coming out of the United Kingdom. Well, basically any other country in Europe. When, as far as lagers go. Um, but when I'm putting it up against the German stuff, I, I, I think it just falls a bit short. And maybe I've been spoiled. Maybe I should have tried the Hacker Shaw after this. I probably wouldn't have sounded as harsh, but I'm gonna stop criticizing it there and I'm gonna emphasize its good points. The carbonation has calmed down there. The mouthfeel is really nice. The flavours are there, you know, there's, there is the noble hop flavour, the German Hallertau flavour, that's what I'm getting from it, that type of, you know, typical German noble hop flavour. The malts are there as well, but they're just turned down a little bit. And that to me is a little disappointing. I don't know whether that's, you know, whether that's me being spoilt. But that's what I'm getting from this. But it is good. I mean, fuck me. You know, if I hadn't tasted the Hacker Shaw, this would have been like a revelation. Maybe I've done that wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have tried the two to get... Well, you know, maybe I should have done. If it's a toss-up between this and the Hacker Shaw, then this, I think, would come second. Well, it will come second. I'm not, I don't think I know it will come second. But it's not bad. Please, please don't think I'm knocking this beer. This is a good one. So what's the verdict? Well, it sounds like I've been slagging this off for the past X amount of minutes, but I'm not. It's just that I have high hopes for Bavarian hell. And yeah, it's just... It's just not as good as the stuff I've just tried. So the mark I'm gonna give it is gonna be a solid eight and a half out of 10 because it is a good beer. I don't care, it is a fucking good beer. But it's just not as good as some of the other Bavarian beers. But don't let that put you off the brewery. I mean, this is a good beer and what they do is exceptional. The, the Altbayerisch Dunkel, if you haven't seen my review of that, check that out and if you can find that beers of europe do it when it's in stock it goes quite quickly that is one of the best beers it's almost like an old school british brown ale but bottom fermented with more drinkability now in my eyes that's that's a fucking winner right now and it did it got 10 out of 10 and i've sessioned the old Irish dunkel and it's you know i've had about some nights i went a bit crazy and had about eight or nine of them and yeah Paid for it the next day, but fuck me, what a way to go. Very nice indeed. Yeah, uh, but this is this is good stuff. It's on a day like this as well. It's fucking and this room is like a sauna and all. That's why it's all fogging up and all that. But this is this is just a ticket. It will do the business. Don't be under any illusion that it won't. It's just not as good as the other Bavarian stuff. So it's going to get eight and a half out of ten, and I'm going to recommend it. And remember, beer is working class champagne. <laughs>